So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. I basically do trading guides for both Xbox and PlayStation for all budgets from silver trading to icon trading with shadow trading and special card trading. On top of that, I do investments for weekend league, pre-team of the week and event investing. And you do have the ability to DM me one on one with any individual questions and you can get all this for £4.99 a month or free if you have Amazon Prime. Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video and a brand new, I wouldn't say challenge but more of a tutorial. So EA have gone and released uh, the repeat for Lycon packs. I'm sure that you guys, uh, especially you guys sitting on some low coins, would like to know how on earth can I get myself up to an Icon pack? Because they're actually not too badly priced. Uh, they're actually priced at about 300 k which means I would back someone with zero market knowledge. So if you guys are going into this no trading ability, I'd back yourself being able to go from about 30k to be able to complete this in about 10 hours. This would basically mean you're going to be making on average 30k an hour. But it's a little bit different because we're going to split it up. So to do to get yourself from 30k to 310k, obviously you're going to need a trading method. The trading method I'm going to recommend to you guys is shadow trading. Because shadow trading, when you know the market well, on both Xbox and PlayStation, you can make about 50-60k an hour. And in my opinion, with a low budget, 50-60k an hour, when working at full efficiency, is probably the most efficient trading method you're going to be able to get out there. But, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how can you get yourself from not knowing anything about this method, to be able to know this method so well you can make 50-60k an hour. So, there are going to be three steps in this. Uh, and again, you should be able to get yourself from 30k to about 320k, aka the icon pack, in about 10 hours. The first hour to two hours is all going to be about learning the market. You need to learn the market because you need to learn what you're buying players for and what they sell for. It's the difference between you and me. Because you guys don't know the market and I know the market. So I can make 56k an hour instantly with this method. You guys are going to it having no idea what anyone goes for. So the first two hours, you have got to be content with learning, right? Again, if you're on an icon pack from nothing, you know, you're not really going to get it via gameplay anytime soon, so trading is probably your fastest way of doing it unless you want to load up some FIFA points. So, again, the first hour or two hours, I'm going to teach you guys how to learn the market. Um, and then I'm also going to show you variations so you can do this if you're on the web app, if you're on old gen, if you've got bad Wi Fi, if you're on PC. So I'll show you multiple different variations or, I guess, obstacles you guys might have rather than being on the perfect next gen PS4. So step one of learning the shadow market is actually doing the method itself, but you've got to be content with something. So to set the filter, what you're going to be doing, and the, this is, I guess, the next gen filter. I'll show you guys PC and old gen what to do in a second, but we're going to start off with next gen. So if you're on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, or if you're about midnight to six o'clock in the morning UK-wise, you can actually do this on old gen um, because it's not that competitive. So, what you're going to be doing is you're going to send your chem star to shadow. We're going to trade with gold cards with shadow. The premise of this around uh, is that, I guess, a shadow chem star is about 4k. As a result, it can add a good value to a player, right? But a lot of people will apply the shadow chem star, and I'm sure you guys have done it. You apply a shadow chem star, you apply an expensive position changer, then you go to list them on the market, you go to list them for what you bought them for, and you forget that you put the shadow or chem send mid on them. And you go, oh, it's 5k, it's 5k there. This happens about 20, 30 cards every 10 seconds. So how are you going to be able to find these cards? Now, another thing I'd like to say as well is that some players only sell for five, 600 coins more with Shadow. Like, let me go and show you right now. Right, right now. We've got the likes of Davidson Sanchez, a very early card. You guys might remember using him at the beginning. Now, because he's such an early card, an ugly, quite an outdated card, his base card sells for, what does he sell for? About 1.4k currently due to SVCs. But obviously a Shadow Chem Star is 4k, so surely that adds 4k to his price. It really doesn't, and the reason it doesn't is because this card is so commonly, you know, he's just basically really, really common, and he's really outdated, like no one is using him. If you think about the amount of Premier League, um, think about the amount of Premier League centre-backs, no one's using him now, you know, you're, you're at least onto like a Joe Gomez or something like that. And let's go and check out Leon Bay, everybody, it's going to be the exact same thing. You know, he's there's only going to be a K between him. And that, that's generous right now because... Uh, what's it called? That's generous at the moment because at the moment there's an SBC making them expensive. So not really much of a price difference between them. Uh, but if I was going to check someone like Dest, let me go and show you the price difference of Dest without a shadow. So we've got a K on them, but actually normally it's only about five to 600 coins. 
Dest for his base card. If you want to go and buy his base card, it's about 1.4k. But if you want to go and buy Dest with a shadow, remember there was only 1k on my Premier League centre backs. If you want to go and buy Dest with a shadow, there is a 2.6k premium, which is really, really nice. Uh, this gets even better with players like Fredericks, works really, really well. If I can go and show you him right now. Fredericks with a shadow sells for 6k. Fredericks without a shadow sells for, what, like 2k? Yeah, he's being inflated right now. He sells for 2.5k. So you can see right there, there is a 4k um, premium with a shadow. So some players have a 1k and some players have a 4k. So what players should be learning? You'll be learning those that have a four, you know, a three to four k premium. But how are you going to learn them? Because you, you know you can't just you don't just have the market knowledge. Well, how you're going to learn is via trial and error. Now, what I say is with trial and error, you know, you're going to lose some coins, you're going to break even, you can make some small profits, you can make some decent profits. It's trial and error. You've got to be content with losing coins, okay? Because I always use this, uh, I always use this diagram right now. I'll, I'll go and show on the YouTube video. There are two ways of learning the market. You've got person number one who's playing it very conscious, okay? They go and buy, in the hour, five cards. Because they're scared of losing coins, they go, oh, I don't, I don't know about that card, oh, I don't really want to buy it. And as a result, they make 5k in an hour, all right? So I guess that's good, you're making money, right? They buy five cards, they make 5k. And you've got person two, right? We'll call him Rambo. Because Rambo over here goes and buys 30 cards in the hour. Which means at least every two minutes he's buying a card. But because Rambo here is playing a lot less, a lot more carelessly, Rambo is losing 10k. Now, a lot of people need a trading won't understand what, why would, you know, why is that, you know. So I would, uh, here, I prefer to be person two. A lot of people need to trade and be like, well, why would I want to trade if I'm just going to lose coins? Right? A lot of new people, they'd be like, and, and as a result, those people trade like person one. But what you got to realise is what is person one learning? Person one is learning five players' prices. They spent a whole hour and they've learned five players' prices, which means going into hour two, they could only trade with five players. But number two over here, Rambo, in theory, has learned 30 players' prices. So he's learned, 30, you know, he's learned what Death sells with a shadow, he's learned what... Uh, Frederick self with a shadow, he learned the buy, he learned the Sanchez, whereas person number one has only learned five players. So even though to a new trader, person number two looks like an idiot and they're losing coins, they're actually not. Because what's going to happen is player one, so let's put like a line here, so this is hour two, boom. Player one now knows five players and he's made another 5k, so you know, good on him, he's made 10k in two hours, making bronze pack method look highly lucrative. Whereas player number two, even though in the first hour he lost 10k, he's now, in theory, learned how much those players go for. And he's now making, in, in hour two, he's now making 20k. All right, let's say 25k to fit an agenda. All right, because he's learned so many players. So what you'll see is I recommend playing this quite Rambo. I don't recommend playing this safe because you could be the first guy and although, yeah, you're not losing coins, you're not learning anything. You know, it's like if I, you know, it's, uh, yeah, no, no bad, no bad analogy. But, and then player number two, in theory, you're actually going to be learning even more players. So in the first hour, player one's probably learning 10 players and player two's probably learned 50 players. But you're going to be making a lot more coins in the long run if you don't play it safe. Now, again, how are you going to be doing this? You need to first set up a filter. This is your next gen filter. And that is going to be 9.9k by now. And then you're going to go and put the highest maximum bid without there being more than one card over the hour. So my recommendation is go and start this at 700 coins. And then again, you need to put... And then if there's no cards over the app, perfect. Let's go and increase it by 200 coins. So I'm going to scroll to the end. How many cards over the app? One card over the app. One card over the app is okay. We can keep on increasing it until there's two. And then we need to lower it to them. There's only one. Still only one card over the app. Perfect. What about 1.2k? Still only one card over the app. Perfect. What about 1.3k? Okay, lots of cards over the hour. I only want one card over the hour, so I'm going to go 1.2k. Perfect. So this filter is now going to work. Now, the significance of why you can have one card over the hour is because they, this certain mechanic which we're about to go and use will not work if there is more than one card over the hour. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to press compare price back out. And what you should see, if by magic, is the market will refresh and put new cards on the market. It didn't actually do that at that time. But what you do is it should refresh and put new cards on the market. I don't know if it's going to glitch out right now and not show me anything new. But 
If it does glitch out, what you do is just lower your buy now by 1k. Uh, it's, it's a bit weird. It could be a case of just that nothing's popping up for now. We are uh, we are on Xbox in the end of the day. So, in theory, let's say Crossman when it pops up. Now, how are you going to learn via trial and error? You are going to be buying every player that you think is only 1k more than they are without a shadow. So, if I thought Crossman sold for 4k without a shadow, which I'd be completely off, I'd go and buy him for 4.9k. Because paying 1k more for a player with a shadow than they are without a shadow is what you're looking for. So, in theory, if I thought Edna Natal was 2.7k without a shadow, I'd go and pay 3.7 with a shadow. Because the idea is that the players will end up being like, um, they'll end up being like that Fredericks I showed you, where they're 3, 4k more than they are without a shadow. So, some players will be less than a k without a shadow. Again, a lot of the common centre backs. Uh, maybe the odd centre mid. The players you're not buying are strikers. You can buy any midfielders, any defenders. Uh, but yeah, strikers are the, the position I'd hold off of. So, wouldn't go with Anthony Martial because you've got to think how many people are looking for Anthony Martial of a shadow. So, let's go and buy Mbappé there. So, and so you're going to press compare price, which is literally square, comparing the price on the player and then backing out. So, once you have bought your players, what you're now going to do is you are going to be seeing how much they go for. Now, again... You've got to remember, you've got to be patient at the beginning because it's all learning via trial and error. So I went and bought a Valverde there for 4.2. I backed Valverde being more than 3.2 for his base card. So let's have a little look how much Valverde is with a shadow. So Valverde with a, with a shadow. We went and bought him for 4.2. He actually sells for perfect. He actually goes for about 5.2k. So I've actually made money. And I didn't even know how much Valverde went for. I just bought him off a trial and error. Boom. I'll be able to sell him for about 5.4k, making myself a nice little k profit. Uh, what else do we We also bought a Militao for 3.7. So, let's go and see. Did we make money on the Militao? Bought him at 3.7. Probably not. I'm probably breaking even by the looks of things. But you've got to remember, it's, yeah, in your first hour or two hours, it's going to be very slow. It's going to be very much breaking even. Maybe a small loss. Maybe a small gain. Because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be getting market knowledge. Now... How I personally like to track market knowledge is putting it in a spreadsheet because I'm a massive loser. So, for example, I only put the data in when I sell them. So let's say Valverde wouldn't sold on. What I would do is I'd go and type Valverde and I'd go and type 5.2k. Only when they sell on because now, if for some reason I mentally forget how much Valverde sells with a shadow, I can just look at the spreadsheet if it's on my phone, even if you want to go and write it down as such. And you can use this, and this will help bolster your market knowledge to help you get up to the point. You know, you'll hopefully start seeing where I have, I have, like, my market knowledge is I know about 100 players with Shadow. You guys won't know 100 players with Shadow, but you'll see as you slowly buy more stuff. And again, the more you're randoing it, the more you're playing with trial and error, the faster you're going to learn the market knowledge and you're going to get to the, I guess, the market knowledge that I'm at. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to show you guys how you can do this method on PC, web app, and old gen, because... The difference between old gen and next gen is not the market, it's how slow old gen processes stuff. Old gen processes stuff so slowly that you won't really be able to out-snipe stuff, or out-snipe next gen. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how you can trade on web app, old gen, and I guess how you can gain that market knowledge. If you guys are on old gen, obviously, sadly don't have the luxury of being able to snipe on our, and on the web app, and in Australia it seems. You guys don't have the luxury of being able to do this. So, what you're going to be doing is a filter that I actually really like, and also on PC. A filter that I actually really like, it's actually a lot more chilled, which you guys would like. As in, like, it's not so much intense of boom, 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 having a snipe. It's kind of like, it's chilled. Hey, you see a deal? You get a deal? So it's the same concept of you're going to go and buy every player that you think is only 1k over the hour. But it's not actually spam sniping. What it is, is you're going to be scrolling to the 5th ninth minute under a completely different filter. So, what I would recommend is on PlayStation, set your buy now to the 3k. On Xbox, set your buy nows to 4k, and on PC, set your buy nows to 5k. The reason for this is there's varying, uh, there's basically different amount of cards in each market. So if PlayStation was to put a buy now at 5k, because there are, if I'm going to show you right now, on PlayStation, there are basically 5,000 cards in the market. On Xbox, there is 1,000 cards in the market, and on PC, there is 600. So because there's way more cards on PlayStation, you need to set a lower buy now, otherwise you're going to be scrolling so many pages. So for all these methods, PlayStation, your buy now is going to be 3k. Xbox, your buy now is going to be 4k. And on PC, your buy now is going to be 5k. And again, this is just due to how many cards are on the market. So you're going to go and set your buy now to 3k. Oh, sorry, I'm on Xbox. So I'm going to set it to 4k. I'm going to go left back shadow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll to about the 55th minute. 
and I'm going to look to see are there any cards that I think are only an hour more, sorry, only 1k more than they are about Shadow. Just it's the same sort of idea, but you're not having to do highly competitive sniping. So a, good, a nice thing about this as well is you can actually have a little look at what all these are. So if all these tellers are up for 3-3, three, three, I'm probably not going to buy a tellers. Because if I look at things, it's going great is 3-3. Three, three. So let's go, and, let's go and search it in again. Scroll to that 50th minute. But I could go and buy Zinchenko. You know, in the end of the day, Zinchenko is, I don't know, I mean, it's probably more than 1-4. We'll buy that. We'll see how, we, you know, we'll see how it goes in a sec. So then we're going to go left back, shadow, 4k. Then we're going to go right back, same filters. PlayStation, you're buying now is 3k. Xbox, you're buying now is 4k. Play PC, you're buying now is 5k. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to scroll to that 50th minute, and then we're going to see, are there any cards that I think are only 1k more with a shadow? Mm, obviously, you don't really want to be buying the non rares as well. You kind of want to be, you know, you're in Babos, you're Di Lorenzo's, you're Kappa, you Dumfries are all good. Frimpong could actually work, by the way, because he's non rare. Let's go and buy a Di Lorenzo, let's just say. Again, in the end of the day, you got to play Viatra. In theory, I shouldn't have bought that Di Lorenzo because this one demonstrates that he hasn't sold on for four out, uh, seven hours. But we'll buy it. We're, you know, we're, we're, we're using it theoretically. So we've got left back Shadow, right back Shadow. We're now going to go midfielder. I believe it or not, Shadow. This is where the buy now is really, again, makes much way, way more of a difference. Again, Xbox 4K, PlayStation 3K, PC 5K. So we're going to scroll to the fifth night minute and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to find players who I think are only 1k more with a shadow. Works way better with center mids than it does wingers. Hmm. I actually know Camavinga sells at 4-5, so I could have... Could have let's go buy this Camavinga, right? Let's say I, for some reason, think he goes for 2.3. He doesn't, but let's just say. Um, nothing else there. So we've got our second one. We've got our Di Lorenzo. We've got a Zinchenko, and we've got a Camavinga. And then the final filter you're going to be running is going to be Hunter Midfielder. One, one of the main things you're looking for right here is actually strikers converted down a cam and centre mid. Uh, very, very commonly they convert to striker. Sorry, very commonly our strikers convert to centre mid and cam. So what we're looking for is players who are only once again 1k more than they are without Hunter. Mm, nothing. You got Malin in centre mid there. No, nothing there. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to go back to shadow left back. So it's the same thing. Shadow left back, shadow right back, shadow centre mid, hunter centre mid. So again, back back to the beginning right here, 4k, and you're just going to keep on repeating these uh, four filters. 3.2, nothing crazy right there. Maybe let's say we're going to gamble on Sandro again. Like, So we'll do the exact same thing right here. We've got Sandro, Di Lorenzo, Zinchenko, Kamavinga. Let's have a little look what they go for. Kamavinga, Kamavinga, Kamavinga. So we've so got him with a hunter. We saw him for 3.3. For some reason, we thought he went for 2.3. Camavinga. There's actually none on the market. So, good rule of thumb. If there's nothing on the market, uh, find what they are normally and add 3, 4k. So, there we go. He actually goes for 1.5. So, what we're going to do is... Or 1.2. We're just going to go and add 3k to this. So, I'm going to go and list him. I can listen for 4k. Listen for 4.5k. Wouldn't be bad. So we've got that Di Lorenzo again before it would be a good deal. Di Lorenzo with a shadow. Going for 3.5. In reality, he's only 3.7. But it's not that bad. I bought him for 3.5. I listen for 3.6. I lose 70 coins. But do you know what I do learn? I then go and learn how much Di Lorenzo sells for. So what I then go and do is I'd go and put Di Lorenzo. Because all you got to do is make the mistake once. And when I say mistake, you're losing 50, 60 coins. Because if Di Lorenzo pops up for like 2.5k, I go, boom, buy it. I know he goes for 3.6. And all it cost me was a 70 coin mistake to learn his price. So hopefully you guys are getting the idea that in the first one to two hours, you're learning the whole market. You've got to learn, you know, you're not, you're not going into this with perfect no market knowledge. A lot of people come to my stream and go, how do I make fast quick coins? And it's kind of like, you can make really good coins. Again, 50, 60k an hour, pretty easily with good market knowledge. But you're going to be very disappointed to understand you're going to have to learn something. Because people just, you know, they want, they want a sniping filter. But in reality, sniping filters just don't work compared to trading. Or at least nowhere near efficiently. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to do this method for an hour and show you guys how many players I can manage to get in one hour's worth of searching. So, after an hour of, like, trial and error buying, uh, we've managed to sell on 27 cards and managed to pick up 37 deals. So, not bad, basically, for the first hour we were uh, doing this method. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm basically going to go and put all this data into a spreadsheet. Uh, therefore, if I want to, I guess, remember their price without having to go back to, like, just mentally remembering, I can literally just go look at the spreadsheet, 
and it'll be all good. So what I do for this is, again, I literally put the price of the player. I think I put their name. So if you've got Henderson, who's gone and sold on for five, I go Henderson, 6K. Now, if you're planning on doing a lot of trading two days in a row, what I also do is I copy and paste this data. I copy it here and then put this data here. And then, so when I go into a new day, basically I like to get new data every day. You don't have to, but to stay on top of prices, uh, well, it's good to like have data every day. So what I do is I'll have yesterday's data, but if I get new data for today, I'll put it here. This is also what I do for my trading guides. I'll literally have like lists and lists of players and what they will go for. Uh, and I won't need too much more. But that's what I do for, um, that's kind of what I do as my sub pack as such. But it's also something you can do yourself. It just takes time. But you know, if you want to trade to an icon pack in 10 hours, I would heavily recommend this because I think this will help you, one, learn the prices. Two, if you forget the prices, you can literally use that to refer to it. It doesn't take that long to input the data um, on the players. So, you know, 10, 15 seconds per player and it helps you remember the prices. It's definitely worth its time um, over, you know, missing a deal or such. But there we go. That is uh, the prices. What I now do is I now do this method for an hour now that I've learned what the players' prices. And I'll go and show you how much I guess I make in my second hour doing this method. To say the first hour I was learning prices. I'll show you how much I can make in the second hour of learning price after I've learned the prices. So what you'll see right here is this is all the data that I've managed to get and just written down. So you can see you've got a little bit in the Prem already. Got a little bit in the La Liga. Got a little bit in the Serie A. A little bit in the Bundesliga. A little bit in the Liga and a little bit in other leagues. And what I can now do is I can now use this data in shadow trading. But what you got to understand is when I do this for an hour, I'm going to have another 10, 15 players plus. Right? I'm going to keep on adding more and more players, but I'm going to be able to use this data that I've managed to get all within an hour of just buying players and trial and error. Uh, and even players where I have multiple data, like I've got two data on Militao, two data on Fred, I'm now very, very confident I can sell them at 4 or 5. So if Fred pops up at 3 5, I sell them at 4 or 5. So just so you guys get a bit of an understanding. Even after one hour of fetching data, we've managed to already get all this. And again, hour after hour after hour. Again, especially in the first two hours, you're only going to get loads and loads of data. And we'll start working up to getting 50, 60k an hour via this method because you're going to start learning loads. So hopefully this is making it uh, nice and clear how you can get from not knowing anything to knowing everything. In the last hour, I managed to give myself 42. Or not even last hour. Last 40 minutes to get myself 42 deals. Kind of gave myself a little bit of time to go and listen to stuff. So what do we got? We got Witch here at 3. He's going for 7. Shaw here for 4.6, he's going for 6. Guerra here for 4.9, going for 6. Uh, Pereira for 5.8, he's going for 7.4. Spinazzola for 4, going to go for 6.6. Rudy for 2.7, going for 3, so a little bit of a miss buy. You can still make miss buys when you're learning. Again, it's only the second hour, I'm not expected to know everything. I don't know what my hair's doing at the moment. Uh, Comde got for 3.5, going to go for 4.9. Taglafico got for 3.3, three, three, going for 5. Teller's got 4. 1.5 going for 3, 4, and then got loads of nice these deals. Camavinga going for 5, 2, Sanchez going for 6.5. So got loads and loads and loads of deals. Quite a lot of uh, common ones. Like these all are going for 3.6. Got quite a lot of them for 2, 6, 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list them all up, work out how much we made in the hour. Again, it should be about 50 to 60k. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll trade for a few more hours. Uh, get this count up to uh, 300k and I think we're going to get underway with an icon pack uh, And we've managed to go and make ourselves, I'm show you right now, actually 45k Which wasn't too bad, bear in mind that was really only hour to me doing this Now obviously I do go into it with a little bit of market knowledge from PlayStation But not bad, and on top of that all of the players, well, they eventually will be selling on So we haven't had a bad sell rate, because in about 20 minutes after listing we've already sold on Maybe a third of the players as such Now because we made 45k uh, And what I didn't actually realise is the packs in the icon SPC are actually tradable are they really not bad packs? Uh, do I have under my favourites? No, I don't. But yeah, they're uh, not bad packs whatsoever. In fact, I, I was looking into it, probably average about 20, 20 to 30k back from it. Which means that the whole SBC, uh, after the packs, it cost you about 295. So the little, the little numbers. And um, so the 295 divided by the 45k, again, you can make 50k an hour. If you make 50k an hour, it's probably under. It's only going to take you just over six hours. Now, that might sound like a lot of time, but in reality, it's the most efficient way of making coins. So. And say so with it, with learning the market in the beginning, and again, anywhere averaging anywhere from like 40 to 60k an hour, easily within a day, you're going from zero, well, you're going from like 10, 20k. I mean, even if you start on 10, 20k, I mean, that's going to take you even less than 60, because that's obviously starting from zero. So, yeah, not too bad whatsoever. But what I'm going to do is I'll, uh, I'll probably get up to the uh, get up to the 295k, and we'll go and do the SPC. Just to end off the video. So, um, yeah, hopefully you've demonstrated well how to learn the prices, then demonstrated me trading with the players, and then selling the players. Now we'll do to, for a bit of fun, we'll end off with an icon pack. That is us with the uh, base icon. As I say, we did a little bit of trading. We did have a little bit of money in the club, in all fairness. But I thought it'd be nice to end it off with a base icon pack. Uh, of course, I had the plebe SBCs, I guess, I, or packs. I won't bore you with them. But obviously, we do have them. But 
Let's go do our base icon pack and see if a few hours of trading, uh, or six, seven hours worth of trading was worth it. Oh, oh. Uh, Sol Campbell. Hmm. Is that the best, uh, is that the best advice? He's worth more than the SBC. He is worth 50k more than the SBC. So, you know, not too bad. Not too bad. Would I want to do eight hours of trading for a Sol Campbell? Not 100%. You know, not... Yeah, you wouldn't be selling it to me very well. Uh, it's not the worst. It's more like I'm walking out here with an Inzaghi or a Petit or something. Um, so, yeah, really not the worst. But there you go. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this. Hopefully, this helped you guys with Shadow Trading. Hopefully, this has managed to get you guys an icon in a day. Uh, thanks for watching. As I say, we can always do tutorials like some part in the future. I mean, I'll be honest with you. It is just a lot of Shadow Trading, really. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another video or tutorial.